hi guys how are you i hope you are doing well today we have this uh, dell motherboard this is not switching on and uh, we will fix it now let's start so i opened it and uh, i saw there is a point was damaged here and uh, with meter i checked it there was also shortage so we will check where which point is short now because this FET also and uh, the capacitors of both sides are uh, showing the shortage. So we will remove all these components and one by one we will check which one is uh, sh short that we will replace. So right now we, I am removing the components. You, so we have removed all the components now FETs and uh, the capacitors so right now we will see if shortage is there or uh, shortage removed in the short area all the components are removed right now we will verify if shortage is removed no there is no shortage more anymore so let's check the components which one was the short so that one we will replace and other all okay components will replace we put back FET was okay this capacitor is also okay this capacitor is short so this is our bad component we will put a new capacitor on it from other motherboard donor motherboard so now we will pair we will solder all the components that was okay now soldering the okay components that we already removed <laughs> now you can see we have a donor motherboard and uh, we will take a capacitor for same value that we have shot so we will replace it with the, the OK capacitor Okay. 
we have soldered the uh, ok capacitor and uh, let's connect all the connections and uh, check the motherboard i hope it will be ok now so let's verify it Now plug in the adapter and uh, the amperes are com consuming. You can see the amperes are like 150, 156 like this and uh, let's switch on the motherboard properly. It will get reset right now for first time and here we go here we have display okay now thank you very much for watching the video